Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. So today our topic is going to be on AWS Government Cloud of US. So our US government is there, right? So they also have some sensitive workloads. They want to maintain it in cloud. So for which AWS is helping with this service called AWS Gov Cloud, which refers to US regions. Okay. These are US regions which are isolated from the other AWS regions, okay, designed to enable US government agencies and customers to move most sensitive data into the cloud by addressing any kind of regulatory or compliance requirements. Okay, this includes federal risk and authorization management program, which is classified as high, and also level four and five data of Department of Defense Security Requirements Guide Impact, okay, and Criminal Justice Information Services. These are kind of, you know, some very critical data which is handled by the U.S. government. So, they move these into the AWS Cloud Club, the data related to that. And all these things has to be adhered to the ITAR requirements, basically. Okay, this ITAR stands for International Traffic in Arms Regulations. They regulate the export and even re-export of wide range of military items, including services provided by them or any kind of technical data and training of any foreign destination or any foreign person, though they reside in US, they has to go through all these regulations specified by the ITAR. And it also limits the transferring of information on the design, development, assembly, production, operation, repair, testing, maintenance, or even modification of any kind of military product. It can even include drawings, assembly instructions, or even the user manual, which is a basic thing. Okay. And uh, this ITR further restricts military services, including any assistance, such as supplying information on any kind of military equipment or, you know, any trainings given to them or how to maintain it, anything. All these things, they are like going to be regulated by ITAR. And this AWS Common Cloud has to adhere to it. So to assist the customers in managing these kind of obligations or regulatory or compliance requirements, which is, you know, being uh, done under ITAR and EAR, Export Administration Regulation, okay, for which the US export control regimes has been in place. This AWS Cloud US supports the management of these regulated data by offering certain features. So major two features are there. One is they restrict the physical and logical administrative access to AWS personnel that are US citizens only. So this AWS Common Cloud can be accessed only by the US citizens those who are designated to be the AWS personnel of that particular AWS Common Cloud account. And they also help with FIPS 140-2 endpoints. Okay. These are certain things related to the security level. They just, uh, you know, keep it in place for, you know, for the security level that has to be maintained for certain set of government cloud data. Okay. And uh, this AWS Common Cloud Yes, it refers to both ASW, uh, sorry, AWS Common Cloud, US West Region, as well as US East Region. Okay. You can run workloads that contain all categories of controlled unclassified information. So just be, you know, clear on this, unclassified. So all the data that goes into the Common Cloud, basically, they don't want to classify or provide any open classification so that it goes out, okay? So they, so they just, you know, keep it unclassified, thinking everything like uh, is a kind of most sensitive thing, but they place the control over it. So it is like controlled unclassified information data and also other government-oriented data. But again, if you ask me, okay, other data, if they want to, you know, take something out from the cloud and use it inside that particular government cloud account, they are allowed? Yes. Publicly available data is also can be handled and it can be coming into the AWS Common Cloud with appropriate permissions given. Okay. 
as this aws manages the physical and logical access controls for the aws boundary that is uh, if any you take a single aws uh, region okay in that there is some aws common cloud space that whole boundary they will maintain who will maintain aws will maintain but however all the aws services they just worked on a shared responsibility model as we all know that is aws how far it is responsible the other side who is a customer either it be the government say in here it's a case of the government cloud account which a personal is using so any individual if you take for any other service or any organization if you take for any other service they are also equally responsible for all the activities or for all the security thing everything controls all the shared responsibility goes on both the sides aws as well as the other party on the side so here the aws common cloud account they are provided with the cloud account right so they also have a equal responsibility for controlling user access to any content which is there in their cloud space so this is how guys aws is helping a lot for the government us government also to save or you know utilize or manage anything any activity they want to do it in their own cloud space so the aws cl government cloud of us is only designated for the us common data again don't confuse it with other governments it is only specific to the us government cloud okay so hope you all got some you know good idea of what aws common cloud us regions are used for and how they are helping uh, a lot in you know maintaining the uh, military data other technical data and other so many sensitive stuffs related to the government activities so if you find this video interesting guys please do share it to your friends also thanks for watching now if you are new to our channel please do subscribe and support to us if you want us to cover some topic in future and uh, you want you know any kind of different playlist so we are having so many playlists in our uh, channel if you see if you want us to start with any new playlist also please do post it in the comment section we'll try to start with a new playlist or you know come up with a new video for the topic you are requesting for we are ready to help you this channel is you know dedicated for you know learn at your fingertips all you have to do is just come to our channel and see check for some content and try to get some knowledge over it whatever the knowledge is being shared here i do, i do read from the uh, you know from the variable resource available and i share it with you all if you also are interested to know about something just post it in the comment section we'll try to come up with a video for you as well for now it's a week signing off all of you take care bye